It's the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ. I can't forget during the International Eucharistic Congress, I uh, was confronted, well, actually, it was an ambush interview. I was very early in the hall and media people approached me and asked me, Father, can you say a few words about the Holy Eucharist? Because it's the International Eucharistic Congress. And I was thinking, this is a seven-day affair with the best speakers in the world. And how can you say a few words about the Eucharist when it has not even started? Oh, Father, come on, come on, come on. You know, you know how, how uh, broadcasters are. They pin you down. So I had to, to think of something. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit taught me. I said, okay, I'll do that in three words. What's that? Broken and shared. The Israelites walking in the desert for 40 years. Imagine the frustration, the stress, the intolerance they had. They started fighting and putting up idols going beyond God who loved them so much. They continually were tested in their lives. But God never abandoned them. Sending them water, sending them food, the manna coming from heaven, and so forth. Now, the Holy Eucharist is the body and blood of Christ for us. What for? It is His memory. It is His physical presence for us. Because we often forget about God. We don't even thank Him for our life. So today, the body and blood of Christ is shared for us. Our brokenness. Because Christ Himself was broken. And yet, He shared His brokenness to the Holy Eucharist. Because that brokenness is salvation itself. The brokenness is God's love for us. It, that is shown for us. Nobody is perfect. We all commit mistakes, we fall down, and we stand up again. So the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ is a feast wherein we remember that we get inside our physical bodies the body and blood of Christ so that we are one with Him and He's one with us, with the Father and the Holy Spirit. So today during this Mass, continue to thank God for our lives. Continue to express love to one another. Continue that despite our frustrations, we still continue to love.